Hello everyone, you are watching variam24.com and today we will be deassembling the Samsung Galaxy A56. First we need to remove the SIM card tray. To do this we use a special injector tool inserted into the hole and gently push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out easily, we can additionally use tweezers to help remove it. Next we need to heat the surface of the back cord to about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We are using a heating mat for this, but you can also use a hair dryer. And after about 5 to 7 minutes of heating, we can begin removing the back cover. To remove the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. This can be the protective film from a new display or a piece of plastic from a stationery store. We carefully insert it into the gap between the back cover and the mid frame, then gently slide it along the edge to cut through the adhesive layer. As always, be especially careful around the camera area to avoid accidentally damaging the lenses. It is best to not to insert the film too far under the cover, since we don't know what might be underneath. There could be a flat cables there. Once we have cut through the adhesive, we can gently lift off the back cover. As you can see, there is nothing attached to it. Next, we need to cover the camera lenses. For this, we use a special protective film, carefully place it over the lenses, make sure it sticks to the rim around the lenses, not to the lenses themselves. Next, we need to unscrew the screws in the top section of the phone. For this, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash tool. We carefully remove the screws and place them on a clear surface in a specific order, if possible, just to make sure you don't mix them up. If any of the screws are stuck, we can use tweezers to help take them out. After that, we use a non-metal tool to gently pry off the top cover. This one with the antennas and speaker built right in. Right now we can see where the speaker is located. Next, using a non-metallic tool, again, we disconnect the battery connector. And then we move on to the screws in the bottom section. For this, we also use the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver and place these screws on a separate surface from the previous ones. We carefully remove the remaining screws and then we move on to detaching the bottom cover. Gently pry it up in the right spot, lift it and remove the cover with a speaker. Now we can disconnect the interboard cables. Carefully disconnect the connectors. We can also disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector. Then we set aside both the interboard cable and the antenna cable. Next we need to unscrew the two screws that hold the subboard in place. These screws are different from the previous ones, so be sure to keep them separate. Once those are out, we can disconnect the subboard. Carefully pry it up in the correct spot, lift it and remove it. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and the SIM card connector on the back side. And now let's do our usual quick test of the microphone hole. The microphone opening is located in the frame of the display. It has an L-shaped design and protected on one side by a mesh or membrane. The microphone itself is on the subboard directly behind the hole. So if something is inserted into the microphone hole in the display frame, it won't damage the microphone itself, but liquids still could. Now we move on to the main board. First, we disconnect one of the rear cameras and set it aside. Next, we disconnect the front facing camera. It is a good idea to cover the lens as well, so dust doesn't get on it. As we can see, there is one screw holding the main board in place. This screw is different from the others, so it is best to keep it separate. Now we can disconnect the main board. Carefully lift it from the correct spot, gently pry it up and remove it. 
Then we flip it over and we can disconnect the rear cameras. Once they are detached, we can set the main board and the cameras aside. Ok, we gently set the cameras aside as well. And finally, all that is left is to remove the battery. Samsung has introduced a really interesting new feature. Their phones now come with a four clear pull tabs, each with an arrow showing the direction you need to pull to release the battery. We carefully pull each tab in the direction indicated. Please notice that the battery is held in place only by these tabs. There is no adhesive underneath. That is a big improvement and makes battery removal much easier. Especially compared to older Samsung models, where the blue adhesive tabs were often heat welded to the battery and really hard to detach. Once all the tabs are released, we use a tool to gently lift the battery. Just be careful not to puncture or damage the battery casing. And that is it, the battery is removed. That is, was a really quick and easy turn down. Probably the easiest one I can remember. So thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video or on our website. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.